Hello and welcome to the comeback Q&A. Thank you all for being here. I know it's been quite some time since I've been in front of a camera and speaking to it. In fact, it's been this long. Who remembers this video? Damn. This was me t teaching uh, how to pronounce my name. And you're probably wondering where this video is. Well, it's been deleted because I don't want anything to do with it. <clears throat> anyway. All right, so I've got a fair few questions and I haven't actually spent time reflecting on them. So I'm going to read them as I see them and answer them as I go. All righty, we'll start with Instagram. All right, what have we got? CG Devious underscore how many more comebacks till the real comeback this is it man I mean if I don't come back after this just forget it okay I'll forget it too so I mean I've said it 150 times but it's never felt right and it's always it's always got to do with timing I oh, look I'm back brother that's it I'm ready to post I'm ready to get back into what I was always into and doing so this is the real comeback all right what else do we have Stephen McAvoy did you sell all your remaining home gym equipment before COVID yeah I did unfortunately it was actually quite some time ago so I uh, moved moved places I had to sell everything because um, I didn't have the space for it here but luckily I before um, the gyms actually closed because I could tell they were going to close I mean they were getting it was just inevitable so I went online I went to catch.com.au and I bought a, um, a bench press it's got like a squat rack on the back and that's what I've been using now to this day it's pretty good um, it's pretty much all you need to kind of maintain and keep everything intact um, during the um, the virus outbreak. Bad boy Juju, what steroids have you cycled? None, brother, and you should know that. We've made that clear from day one. Uh, I'm not going to spend time on too much time on this topic because, I mean, any steroid question... I mean, it's just, there's really no point whether anyone believes me or not. Canthetics, how old are you? I'm 31, man. Yep. I mean, it sounds old, but look, everyone is aging at the same rate numerically, right? So everyone's getting a year older every year, but it all depends on how you feel and how you act. So I'm 31 and I feel 31. What can I say? All right, what else? Um, okay. Tarek Aesthetics, why do you never post on YouTube? Why have you been barely active over the past nine years? Do you realize you could have been at the top of the fitness industry, Instagram, YouTube, etc. by now? You reckon? I don't know, man. Um, Look, I've just been, a lot of stuff's gone on um, in the last nine years. Um, and it's, it's hard. What I've found difficult is committing time to post and, you know, write everything down that I want to do, get someone to film it, make sure it's right, edit it. And it's, it's just, it's been tough. So that's why I've never being consistent in coming back I've always maybe come back for a week or a week or two and then I'm three months later nothing and then I might just throw a video out or something um, do I regret um, was it do you regret no, no regrets do you realize you could have been at the top of the fitness industry maybe maybe not I mean who, who's you know who knows Paul Rutkowski, since it's obvious you rarely post, 
how has backing off social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, shaped or influenced your purpose in life? And if there are any regrets? Well, it's been it's been a good cleansing, man, for for the last couple few years. I mean, it was pretty stressful. Even at the, at the beginning of like posting on my fan page and that, and, you know, creating videos that people can actually like and relate to. It's pretty stressful because I used to post nearly every day and I felt that I had to like continue that pattern. I couldn't couldn't go a few days with nothing. I had to constantly post something. And it's kind of stressful, even though it's just Facebook, like it's social media, who cares? I took it a little too serious. And when it got to that point where I was kind of running out of ideas, I was kind of like, shit, you know, um, what am I going to do now? So I just, I just stop. I just wouldn't, I'll just disappear for months and I'd be like, all right, this is, I'm content with this because I don't need to do anything. I don't need to worry. So how's that shape? Oh, it's, look, it's a good thing because, um, it's given me a lot more time to do things, um, that I always wanted to, and just time to you know, put my energy on other more important things. Are there any regrets? No, I can't say there are because I'm pretty grateful for where I am um, these days. So who knows? Who knows if I kept going, what would have happened? But I don't think much. I think I, I, think I was destined to stop and kind of, you know, go on with my other parts of life. And then maybe return. I think this is the return, boys and girls. This is the return. I'm telling you. I'm ready. Because come on, let's let's admit it. The fitness industry is pretty boring right now. No offense to anyone I know that's still in it and doing their thing. No offense at all. But it is lacking something. Canthetics. You inspired by Ziz? Of course. I mean, who wasn't inspired by Ziz? Everything you said and did, there was always, it's like you could, you could relate to, anyone could relate to him, regardless of, you know, age, wherever you are. He kind of had this thing about him where you watched him and you felt that, you felt that it allowed you to be yourself and like not worry about anything anyone thinks or says. Be confident because, you know, life's short and just, you know, do whatever you want to do. I mean, we need a lot more of that, you know, stuff just being, you know, in your comfort zone and just worried about what the next person is going to say or think. If you want to do something you feel like doing, you should just do it. So yeah, 100%, man. I mean, who was it, right? Who wasn't inspired? The vanishing point, still keep in contact with Narcissus. Damn, I haven't heard that name in a while. Um, no, I don't. I never had him as a Facebook friend, but actually, funny you ask, I sent him a message a couple of um, years ago, and I kind of said, um, I had this idea where I, because I wanted, again, it was one of my comebacks, and I had an idea where I wanted to <laughs> make a video obviously organize it with him to make a video where I set out to find Narcissus, Narcissus in like a, um, like a dark, like, f um, long lost cave or forest. And I'll, I'll be in there trying to find him so we can both come back, back into the industry. I sent him a message, but I don't think he ever got it. I'll actually, I'll post it if I find it for you guys. Tom Downing one. In a 1v1, who would win, you or Zazima? I have to look up Zazima. Zazima, I don't know who that is. Zazima RuneScape. Oh, man, I never played RuneScape. Is it a character or something? Um, is, is this the main character of RuneScape? Or is, it, or is this like a, a streamer maybe? I can't tell. Um, it looks pretty, uh, no, I mean, I don't know. If it's the character, it looks pretty jacked, man. So I'll probably say Zazima would win. Yeah, never played it.
Geordie Fazig, do you still take anabolics? If so, what? Really, man? Do I still take them? You sure I took them? You sure? Rezzy underscore Rez, do you still eat apricot kernels every day to help possibly prevent any cancer? Remember you did a Facebook post back in the day and this got me onto it. Yeah, damn, man. I haven't had apricot kernels in years. And I probably should get back onto them because I know that they have... You can't say treat cancer. You can't use that word. It's a really, you know, touchy word. But I know they contain cyanide and... You know, it could be beneficial to like you know reducing anti uh, no, um, free radicals in the body and all that so yeah damn I should get back onto them totally forgot about them classic Kassar where have you been bruh I know right I've been around man I've been around I just haven't posted it I just haven't told anyone where I've been Jack's progress why do you keep leaving and coming back, bro? Mm. It's sad, man. It's sad for me too. But um, like I said, even releasing this video is kind of going to help me to say, all right, you've done the video. Come on, you know, just keep keep posting. And if people, if I get feedback, I'll do it. I mean, I enjoy it. Aesthetic underscore DJ, do you have kids? I do have a kid. I have a daughter. She's nearly one years old. James24. This, this is a cool dude, James24. Check him out if you haven't. This dude's from UK. He's pretty jacked. He's like a, <laughs> a jacked C. Ronaldo. What advice would you give to an 18-year-old? Nussle. Hmm. What advice would I give myself at 18? I mean, look, I don't regret anything. So I can't say, um, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. But what I would probably give myself, um, the advice of prioritizing things that are more important. I think up until 18, I was, um, I was really focused on school and education. And once it, I hit 18, 19, it was kind of like I um, started chasing girls and having relationships and all that. So I spent way too much time with like seeing girls and, you know, not studying. And I was even playing soccer. I gave up soccer. I remember I stopped everything at once. So my advice would be prioritize the important things, even if it's a year or two. Like what's a year or two? better off focusing on that stuff and seeing how um, how you go with it instead of giving up. I mean, I, I play I play soccer, for, for, you know, casually even now and I wish I, I just never stopped, but what can you do? All right, what else do we have? Um, Tom Pell. What are your thoughts on Jason Genova and the Delray Misfits? Jason Genova, I know who Jason Genova is, but the Delray Misfits, not sure. Let's check it out, Misfits. Oh, are these like, like gym bros, like older gym bros? No, I haven't checked them out, but Jason Genova is pretty funny, man. You know, <laughs> I remember he posted a video of him um, calling out Lee Priest while he's training for some reason, because I think... Um, because I know Lee Priest does or did do some like vlogs and I think Jason Genova called him out or I don't know who called that who. But in this video, Jason Genova is training and he's calling out Lee Priest. He's calling him a manlet <laughs> and all these things. It's pretty funny because they're both kind of short. So yeah, he's a funny guy, Jason. I don't like what, um, I don't like it that he got slapped though. Didn't like that. Okay, staple foods. So aesthetics era asks staple foods for bulking. I think what's more important is um the snacking, man. So if you're having obviously the pastas, the rice, all that stuff, if you snack in between, 
in between the meals. Like if you have three to four meals, but you're snacking two to three times in between those, that's what's going to help bulk. I used to do rice cakes and peanut butter, nuts, heaps of water, even taking like, like um, vitamins, fish oils, any little thing that can help kind of retain food and help with absorption will help a lot um, for bulking. Oh, what else have we got? Um, F. Athanas, how do you maintain that hair? It's a wig. So it's pretty easy to maintain a wig. You just wash it a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of times every few weeks. James 24, how do you get motivated? How do you get yourself motivated to do things you don't particularly want to do? Hmm. Motivation, man, it sucks sometimes. It's hard to say because um, it's like you've got to create reasoning and purpose behind things that you have to do. And it's hard because, if, you know, if you're talking about going to the gym and lifting weights or, you know, exercising, I think what most people do is when they think, think about exercising or training they just they think they put themselves in that in that zone they know it's tiring they know it's stressful they know it's hard and they think I'll stuff it I can't be bothered I don't want to do it instead I think if you you look a little forward and you kind of visualize where you'd be and how you'd feel with exercising and lifting weights for a specific time period the benefits in, in, in doing that. If you can get yourself to kind of get into that zone instead of thinking of the negatives, it's kind of hard to do, but everyone has their own little ways of dealing with motivation. And I think, you know, it takes a lot of training and time to be able to self-motivate yourself because that is tough. But for me, I to answer your question, it's more about thinking of the benefits and where I'll be in six months following this routine. All right. Um, I might move on to Facebook because I did post this on Facebook too. Victor Chan. Well, the King is back after three long years. I have a few questions for you. Are you still friends with the aesthetics crew members? Example, Chespra, why did you decide to return after such a long time and what is your max bench? Am I still friends with the aesthetic crew members, Chespra? Yeah. I mean, uh, Sage's from Sydney. I'm from Melbourne, so it's not like we can hang out. But um, yeah, we talk here and there online. The other aesthetic crew members, um, no, not really. I mean, everyone's doing their own thing now. Why did you decide to return after such a long time? I think the time's just right now. Every time I said I'll come back in the past, it was kind of like more, like it was more that I was kind of forcing myself to come back instead of really wanting to. So I feel the time's right and I have time to dedicate um, in, you know, bringing back all the content that I've always wanted to. My max bench press, damn, I don't even know. I don't go that heavy, man. I mean, if I was to to train bench, I go I go more like technique and reps, controlling reps, such as even a hundred kilos. Like a hundred kilos, it's not that much, but I'm working more on mastering the technique of bench instead of trying to lift really heavy, and I think that's what's helped me develop. Uh, my chest to where it's at today for example um, look I think I don't think I've even lifted more than 140 kilos on the bench but I can do 100 kilos and make it look like it's just the bar and that's just not that's not talking myself up that's just purely the mastering of the technique and the fluid of the movement so I don't know I enjoy doing that more instead of just going super heavy and kind of 
using just your whole body to you know to get the bar up energy Mikey are you still thick and juicy like Stephen Byrne who's Stephen Byrne I think he's tagged his mate um, he's got a display picture of a tree no other photos well, looking at this tree, I, I have to say, um, Stephen Byrne is more juicier. All right, I might move on to Instagram um, inbox. I'm not going to say the names just in case people didn't want to um, be known. What's your weight and height? Damn, I haven't weighed myself in ages. I think I'm probably about 97 kilos. Last time I did weigh myself was probably about six months ago and I was 96. So I've gained a little bit more weight since then. So probably 97. And height, 184 centimeters tall. Where are you from and where do you live? Do you have a baby now? Yes, I have a baby. Um, I'm from Melbourne. Would I live like my address? Let's just say I'm 12 kilometers from the central business district. If that helps. You're the OG dude. My question is if you could change the fitness industry in any way, how would you do it? Well, um, I think the main thing I would like changed if I could would be just seeing just more real stuff on there. I think now it's just all, yeah, look at my physique. Um, this is how I train. This is what I eat. Um, buy my uh, workout plans, wear this brand of sports gear. You know, instead of just seeing someone say, look, the fitness industry isn't perfect. My life isn't perfect. It's not all about aesthetics and this and that. You know, just more stuff that people can relate to on like a down-to-earth level. I think it's just way too materialistic at the moment. And it lacks a lot of original, like even humor. I don't know, the humor in the fitness industry now just seems weird to me. It's all just recycled regurgitated stuff anyway All right what else uh, do you think you could have made a career out in fitness slash bodybuilding like the other aesthetic guys on the fit first wave example chess bra do you regret not going more into that direction um, are they making a living? I don't even know. Uh, I know some are, but here's the thing. For me to have made a living from fitness, that would mean that I'd have to either um, bring out a service or a good. And that was just never my intention. I mean, it's... For me, it was more about posting content, posting humor related to fitness posting motivation posting ideas and things that come from working out and lifting weights things beneath the surface now could i've made a career maybe if i really you know put time and effort into it but i think it would have been way too um, forced because that was never my intention so it would have been yeah, it wouldn't have been something I would have put a lot of um, effort into. What else? I might go on to the YouTube um, questions. Marjay, did you ever meet Ziz in either way? What did you think of him? Yeah, like I said before. Um, no, I never met Ziz. Uh, he was in Melbourne for an event. Actually, my brother got to meet him. 
And what's funny is actually I'd posted, I'd posted on his wall a few times on his fan page wall and he actually replied and every time actually. And what's funny is on the day that he came to Melbourne, my brother went and took a photo with him and he actually thought it was me because we kind of look alike. So yeah, um, it's a shame, but what can you do? Snaz, when did your parting years end and at what age and why? Love from Greece. What age? Yeah. Um, probably, look, I still like to party. Um, doesn't mean I do party. Uh, if I could, I would party as much as I can because it's always fun. But obviously there's responsibilities that we've got to um, undertake in life. So we can't always party. Probably stopped 2000 and not even that long ago. Probably 2016, 2007, no, 2017. So it would have been like 28. But in saying that, there's no age where you've got to do this or do that. I mean, we all are at different stages in our lives. So... You do whatever you want. If you want to party till you're 50, you party till you're 50. Don't worry what other people are doing or saying, you know, just because they're in that stage of their life, they probably wish they could party um, all the time. Next one, reviews by Rick. Great to see you back at it again, Nacho. Really missed the v VOs. I myself haven't made a upload in a while. Haha. <laughs> Too many things to be doing on my ranch. My question for you is simple. Sorry that it's more of a statement. Does the implications of the falling price of gold in our, glo in our global economy discuss the implications of the falling price of gold in our global economy? Rick, mate, what are you doing on my channel? Um, yeah, I think the, um, the implications mean... Um, a lot of people are losing money who have invested in gold. I don't know, mate. I don't really uh, follow the shares that much. Has gold fallen? Thank you, Rick. Rick from my YouTube channel. All right, check out reviews by Rick, guys. Christian Gray. LRA, I'd like to ask, how did you achieve such a thick, bold physique, especially your chest? Been training close to seven years with natty, sufficient nutrition and training, but nowhere close. I also have the Greek football player structure. Tip for your boy would be appreciated. Well, Christian, um, heaps of bench press for chest, man. I remember bench pressing for when I had my home gym. I would bench press. Even I would actually bench press for probably half an hour to 40 minutes straight. Like I'd have a session that would just be benching, benching. Heaps of chest, um, heaps of flies with full range of motion stretch. I mean, anything that's just going to hurt because I mean, growing the chest is pretty tough, especially if, you know, you're someone that's got like small, small a small frame because your chest is really, it's like the expansion of your your upper body, so just keep benching, man. All right, um, flawless Asian. What have you been doing all this time away from YouTube? Just going, um, going ahead with life, man. I mean, I didn't spend that much time on YouTube, so yeah, it's been. I've been posting videos every so often, but just going ahead with life and um, all that stuff, man. Yeah, so I think that's mostly all the questions for now. Um, I will probably, I'll probably do another one of these a little bit later down the track. Um, if this video gets more traction, more people will see it. They'll have probably more things they want to ask. 
Mm, yeah, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen.